Tonight, a woman is telling us her 75 year old father who's showing symptoms of coronavirus is being denied testing. She says she's concerned for his health and well-being. 7 Action News reporter Alan Campbell spoke with a woman. He joins us live now with more on uh, what she's saying. Alan. Well, Dave, Jessica Burdick says that her father contacted his doctor to let him know that he had symptoms similar to COVID-19 and that he wanted to come in and get tested. However, Jessica says the doctor then told her father that his facility wasn't capable of handling somebody who potentially had coronavirus and their office would have to shut down. Now, for this story, Jessica wouldn't give us a picture of her father simply because they're concerned of what the public may think. It's very frustrating to have four layers of bureaucracy. Jessica Burdick is concerned for her 75 year old father after he returned to Canton from Los Angeles after a cruise he was supposed to be on was canceled. He flew to Detroit on Monday back home and he started having symptoms. Jessica says the symptoms were similar to COVID-19. She says her father wanted to get tested but got the runaround. He called the ER to try to get a test. They told him that they needed state health department approval to get the test. In order to get that, you have to get a respiratory panel from a lab. And in order to get that, you have to get a swab from your doctor. Jessica says her father's doctor said they can't handle someone sick with coronavirus and would have to shut down the office. The state health department sent us a statement regarding testing that says clinicians and medical facilities, including hospitals, urgent cares and primary care facilities should be screening patients appropriately for COVID-19 and testing patients as appropriate. They play a very important role in our public health response as part of the testing process for COVID-19. The Wayne County Health Department telling us an individual needs to have tested done by a doctor or emergency room. Jessica says her father is now self-quarantined and is hoping he doesn't have the virus. When we don't have a test, then we don't have people. We don't. He doesn't know whether he has it, so he doesn't know whether he should take it incredibly seriously and completely quarantine or operate like he has a cold. So again, according to the state health department, you are supposed to contact your doctor or even emergency room if you do think you have symptoms of COVID-19. Jessica tells me her father is taking it day by day and is hoping to fight whatever it is that he has. Reporting live tonight in Southfield, I'm Alan Campbell. We'll send it back to you. Let's hope he's okay. Thank you so much, Alan.